Okay, so today we are going out to AgPro because I need some new blades because these cannot be sharpened anymore. Um, these are the um, the Skag OEM blades. They're like the gator tips, uh, mulching blades with the gator tips on them. Okay, these things have been sharpened, I mean, two, three, I mean, they've been sharpened so much it's insane. And these are the original blades that I got with the mower. Even though we don't use this mower every single day on the truck, you guys obviously have seen that we mow a lot with it. The blades should have been replaced at least two or three times by now, and we're just now replacing them. It's a hundred bucks for the set, but I decided to stay with them because it's worth it because of how long they last. Um, so we're gonna, the guys are following me. We're taking trailer one to, or trailer two today. Um, we start a uh, brand new property today. I showed you guys before. Um, we started today, so I'll try to get as much as I can on camera. Um, but you know how it is when you're on a new property, you're just really focused on getting a lot of things done and you know, the full impression. This is, uh, this is full day one impression mode. So we're going to pull up here, get some blades. The guys should be behind me. Um, they had to stay behind for a couple minutes and wait for everybody. I went ahead and took off. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's get this potty started. And shovel where the sun don't shine You can take your own advice Put it on your favorite t-shirt Oh Lord knows You ain't got far to go Just listen to my voice And I'll tell you where to go Yes I'm Getting some trimming done Focus here. So this jasmine hasn't been trimmed in so long. We're having to use some hedge trimmers to like get it back in shape, man. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Get it, boy, get it. I mean guys, they just let this place go, man. They just let it go. Um they just, we're getting all the hedges trimmed everywhere around here. Tommy, Tommy just ran out of gas. How can you do that, Tommy? I'm out of gas. How are you running out of gas? <laughs> I think I was just filming the woods and not even filming you. It's my awesome camera work. So yeah, see this long run, Tommy's gonna have to go along this long run. It goes all the way down this way. I mean, it's probably a good I don't remember, I measured it, but I mean, it's a good a little over a quarter of a mile from point A down to point Z, um, where they're gonna have to, I call it trim lining, when you go along the edge of the grass, trim it, you know, trim it level. So they have to trim line this whole thing, they have to edge this whole thing because the last company was just hardly ever edging any of this. So you can see, let's do a roundabout, you can see, and it bends around and it keeps going. Um, but these beds, man, are just, they're just a joke. Like nobody's been edging them. Um, some spots have been edged and other spots not. Um, I know that they had like three guys on mowers and only like one guy on a weed eater or something. They were saying, we don't do that. We do one guy on a mower. I've never mowed a property that substantiated having more than one guy on a mower. I'd rather have everybody on sticks doing some other stuff. Um, but the biggest property we do though, totals, you know, just about 30 acres. Uh, but it's not 30 acres of grass, of course. That's a condo, you know, mixed with a bunch of, you know, concrete buildings and all that. 
probably about eight solid acres of grass um, between the entire property is the biggest. So no need for two mowers. Um, we just use one mower. Um, we have everybody doing everything else. Um, getting all the hedges done. I mean, look, look at this. Yeah, so that's just all over the property, stuff like that. So um, we're gonna go, I'm gonna keep mowing um, and we're gonna go out to the lake bank um, and get that mowed. That's a you know long stretch of, that's a long stretch of property right there. Um, you know, to go back and forth, it's gonna take a minute. But we're gonna get this place shaped up, man. We're gonna get it knocked out. I met with the board and everybody this morning before we got started, they were just really excited. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do this. They're already loving it, so. All right guys, so I did not end up getting near the footage that I wanted to get. That place took me way longer than I thought it was gonna take to mow. Um, I thought I'd probably have it done in about three and a half hours. It took a little over four and a half hours. That's with the mower just running, not shutting off, except twice, really. I shut it off to grab a camera and shut it off once to um, do something at the trailer and that's about it. So that place definitely takes longer to mow than I thought. It's bumpy, man. It's so bumpy. It doesn't look it. It looks really even. Um, I got to get out of here though. I had some, uh, some stuff come up. I got to go, but I mean, the place is looking phenomenal, man. The guys are doing a killer, killer job. Everybody there is just already stoked already. Um, there's just things that just haven't been edged in forever or weed eating. That's not done tight. Um, they're all blown away primarily right away the cut difference these guys had like I said three people mowing um, they were on three standards mowing 
And when I was out there, while they were mowing, you could just see mohawks and just clumped up grass everywhere. Um, they just weren't sharpening blades or anything. So um, I went, like I said this morning, I went and got these uh, Marbane um, replacement blades on the Skag. Those things are machines. I mean, those things are monsters, man. They are monsters. Um, so just immediately, they were just outside, just like shaking their head and in a good way, just going, I can't believe how different it looks just already, just with the way that we're cutting it. Um, so that, that Skag Cheetah with those blades on there, man, really, really, and I mean, the Hustler would do a really good job, you know, the, pretty much the same job for the most part. Um, that Skag does put down a different cut though. Um, so it's a, it's a little different. Their, their cuts are a little different, I noticed. But I think the Hustler's going to do awesome out here when we mow with that off and on. Um, but today, brought Trailer 2 out with the Skags and um, the bigger mower. So I have to be prepared for the guys to take longer. Um, <clears throat> probably take them, um, I mean, it might take them like an extra 30, 45 minutes to mow with the Hustler. Then it did the skag, so need to budget probably five hours of mowing on that place when they have the hustler. So that's a long time to run a mower without turning it off um, on a property. We have a couple of properties that take that long, but it's on and off, you know, and it's switching sides and everything. Um, but yeah, they were just really stoked at the cut. They were in love with the cut already. It definitely did, like, <coughs> I mean, it popped, man. Whenever I got off and I'm stopping, I'm looking around, I'm just like, man, it looked good. <laughs> it just really popped, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't know what the heck's going on. I think I swallowed some grass through my nostril earlier. Um, so anyways, they're just, they're really liking it. So the guys are gonna get back. They, they trimmed a bunch of stuff up. I'm gonna have them stop trimming because um, it's already um, 1.30. I'm going to have them start working on cleanup while the guys still finish. A couple of guys are going to work on cleanup. Um, a couple of guys are going to finish weed eating. Ross is going to finish edging. Then they're going to blow that place down. Um, today they're using three of the 700s, the steel 700s, and then two of the Husqvarna's. That's what they got on the trailer today. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up. I got some stuff to do, and then I'm going to go get my little girls from school. Hope you guys are tearing it up. You!